Hey guys, the hottest and fairy marksman of many just got a new skin. Hanabi is a very tricky hero. If your positioning is terrible and the enemies are quite experienced and know how to dive you, then you just become a liability to your team. That's why in this video I will try to show you how to position yourself during the team fight and how to avoid getting killed first. In this one, the enemy has a jaw head, so like usual, I'm warning my team that he might try to be sneaky and steal our red if we are not paying attention. Our team didn't listen to my warning, and unfortunately their jawhead did exactly what I told them he was gonna try to do. Look, jawhead stole a red. Well, we are off to an interesting start. Moscow seems to be underestimating Hanabi's damage. He's trying to ping me to the wall, so you just gotta make sure I don't stick close to it. I managed to force him to recall. First, just gotta check where the jungler is so I don't get ganked. And then I can proceed to clear the wave really fast so when Moscow comes back, he'll miss tons of experience and gold because the turret is going to kill many of them before he's back. Their Joe is really good at stealing our buff. Moscow pretended that he was going to be right side, but he was just baiting me to move towards that direction so he could pin me to the wall. That was pretty smart. But now that I've seen this trick, I won't fall for it that easily again. By just playing and experiencing these little things, you will improve as a player eventually, as long as you are conscious about them. My team made the right decision on focusing the easiest hero to kill first, which is their marksman. Paquito is a lot harder to kill compared to Moskov. I was trying to look for the jungler but I couldn't hear anything, so I decided to stick to the upper area of the middle lane because we got the vision from the walkie grass. Once I saw the record didn't follow through, I decided to retreat. It would have been too risky to continue the chase. Of 
They used a lot of their skills on the tank. Now I can fight them without being worried of getting tossed or ulted by Joe Head. The game's pretty even at this point. This Yawhead has probably stolen like 3 of our buffs already. I think he has a special mission for this game. That was my bad, I should have just gone on the opposite side instead of chasing him behind her. I learned from a previous mistake, so this time I will make sure to cut his path of retreat. Once you see that you are the main focus, reposition and wait until they focus on someone else. I stopped attacking because I was waiting for a younger to get closer so she can secure with her retribution. Don't stay still and keep repositioning during the team fight. Zazas is all available, so I thought we could make a big play. There's no way I can catch her, so let's just focus on the front line. Zask is hunting Karina. But he got Uno reversed. Surprise face.
Our jungler is not with us. It's not a good idea to try to take the Lord now. You can use her second skill to check if anyone is hiding in the bushes. Because usually when you play a hero who doesn't have a dash, the enemies will try to be sneaky and gank the backline first. We are outnumbered and use all our ult, we have to retreat and wait for better timing to engage. Paquito can double dash and reach me, so I need to make sure I don't stand still. When you are playing a marksman without any dash skill, you gotta play extremely smart and reposition all the time. Because the opponents will try to go for your nuts first if your positioning sucks. <laughs> 